I am 10 kilos away. From what? You may well ask. Shall we get into it? So before we get into this video, let's do the business end of this. If my content pleases you, then I would love to have you join me on this journey. What a journey it is. So please consider subscribing and liking the content. Throw me a comment. Love me some comments. Throw me a comment. But if you do like this content and you like this being a part of this journey with me, as emotional and mental as it is, then join me on this odyssey as we look to distant waters and join us because I'd love to have you along for the ride. Also, if no obligation, but if you would like to support me in this lifestyle, this health journey that I'm on, then I'm going to put a little card up here for buy me a coffee. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, all proceeds go towards things like meat. <laughs> well, that's a no-brainer. Uh, recently, through kind donations, I was able to get a vibration plate. And yes, we are going to talk about that this week. Also, I will put a little thingy up here, a little card up here for a PayPal um, account that I made for just Carnival Odyssey. So that if you're not comfortable with things like Super Thanks and Buy Me A Coffee, then you can donate directly to the little fundraiser thing that I have on my PayPal account. I have to do that on a monthly rotation thing, but that's fine. Um, so you've got many ways that you could donate if you wanted to. There is absolutely no obligation to, okay? I just like to create as many avenues as possible for you guys to donate if you wanted to. So now that we've got the business end of that done, I said in my intro that I'm 10 kilos away and you're probably going, what is she going on about? Well, I'm going to tell you, I am exactly 10 kilos away from being the starting weight that I was when I started Tony Ferguson. Now, even though the montage isn't going to come until later, <laughs> do you remember what my starting weight was for Tony Ferguson? I have mentioned it in other videos. Comment below if you can remember. No cheating, no jumping. There are no chapters. I'm on to you. Mm -hmm. Going to just the weight losses and the pictures and stuff. No, you get to hear me ramble. You're welcome. So this week, I was using my vibration plate and um, I'm now at a very comfortable 10 minutes when I wake up and 10 minutes sort of like later on in the day. And I have the vibration plate in a place where I've got to go past it to come out here. 10 minutes is the sweet spot. I started with five and um, I did like five minutes maybe two three times a day but for the moment now I've reached that point where it's like okay 10 minutes twice a day is good and I could probably throw in another dose before I go to bed I'm good with it it's working out really well I can see how it could be addictive something very strange happens when you've been on it for any length of time and you suddenly turn it off. It's like, oh boy, it's it's a very funny feeling, but things are changing. Uh, now, y'all said it was gonna change. <laughs> so you weren't wrong. So the first thing that I'm noticing is the fluid. Oh my God. The, the, the I'm always on the toilet for tinkles. Tinkle, 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 tinkle all the time. It's like, oh, okay, so fluid. And I have felt a bit bleh, this week. It's going, <laughs> I can feel the lymphatic system just going, wait, wait, what? 
uh, you want me to do what now? Uh, uh, but we're we're fine just being stagnant. Well, no, no. And it, <laughs> my whole system kind of feels like you know when you're trying to start a car, <laughs> or when you're trying to hit the kickstand to start your motor, <laughs> and it's just like you could just feel your system just going, oh no, I ain't got no time for that. But <laughs> my husband said so. I said something just a little bit while ago because I was sitting here editing the before and after shots that I put in the montage and I sat back and I looked at these photographs and I'm like, and I said out loud, I said, dang, I'm doing well, you know, sort of like both bolster yourself up, you know, <laughs> he walks in and he went, well, it's not like you've given your body much of a choice. I said, that's right. I'm the boss of me. <laughs> I'm the boss. So I thought that was kind of cute. He's lost weight as well, just with the increased meat, okay? Um, he is actually lighter now than when I first met him. Yeah. He's he's 101. Now, this guy is like six foot 5,000. <laughs> he's a tall guy. But, yeah, weight's peeling off him. Isn't it amazing? Uh, the, the meat has increased with the kids as well. They're a bit eh about it. But one of the things that I find very curious is that my eldest son, he's using the vibration plate once a day as well for 10 minutes. Yeah. I know exactly what I'm getting my family for Christmas. I'm just saying I'm not messing around this year. Mm -mm, they're all getting a vibration plate of their own. <laughs> Look, you know, I'd rather get that for them for Christmas than a bag of chocolate, frankly, if I'm being honest. I mean, if, it, if it's going to help them and they're going to use it, because, you know, my husband's quite active even he's been getting on it. He, <laughs> he had a go at it at level 99. I think they call it disco mode, but he had a go. He said, keep going, keep going, keep going. I went right up to 99. He went, oh yeah, you can feel that. And he didn't go, he didn't stay there very long. I mean, I wouldn't have expected him to, but he just wanted to try it, you know. And he's been like on this lowest setting. He's been standing there, um, actually squatting down because he said it, it's actually eases up on the hips a little bit even for him so I think he's starting to get a bit concerned that when I do stand on it with my hips and stuff but the thing is only using the vibration plate for a week now the stiffness pain that I have in my legs has lessened quite a fair bit but that old pain in the lower back is returning. And I'm good with it because I did expect increased pain somewhere. You, you can't go into this thinking, oh, it's going to cure everything. I'm going to get all rid of all the pain. You know, You've got to expect a little bit of pain before you push through to the other side of it. That's me, though. That's how I think. That's how I, and I expect it. You know, expect the worst. And then if anything less happens, then, hey, bonus. So, yeah, I mean, by all accounts, lipedema, lymphedema is something that you, once you get it, you've always got it. So it's something that I'm always going to have to manage. And if I always have to manage it with a vibration plate, then I'm good with it. Just like, you know, in a year from now, when, when and if I do start introducing foods that I haven't had for a while, things that are going to cause me inflammation. Ah, oh, well, can't have that ever again. Okay, I'm good with it. That's where I'm at. It's like whatever I'm... 
and this is the thing what this is what i've found with with carnivore is you go in you go into this you dive in thinking you're going to get rid of all the problems that you've got essentially yeah that can happen but then you go oh what's this and you come across another problem that didn't exist before so then you've got to address that and then something else might happen that you've got to address that some things will go away some things you have to manage for the rest of your life but when you consider that this is a lifestyle a dietary lifestyle eh not going to be a problem really not for me i can't see it being a problem uh I this week also there was there was a bit too much of the whole chicken thing happening whereas I'm fine with chicken but by the time I got to Friday I said to my husband I said darling I need a steak and I need it a stat I didn't want beef mince even though I know I can I just I needed a steak so he got me a steak and it was like that because i was feeling a bit sort of because you know you can feel the lymphatic system when it's been pretty much at a standstill for god knows how long when you feel it starting to try and chug up again trying to sort of get going and chug up again get moving oh it you, i felt it I'm, I'm feeling it and that body was saying you need a steak get a steak honestly within about 10 minutes of finishing the steak it went, boom lifted me up no end and made me feel better you know when i weighed myself this morning i looked at the scales and i'm like wow i'm exactly 10 kilos away from when i started tony ferguson like in 2010 and that was a moment because I'm like, my gosh, I'm only 10 kilos. I didn't go, gosh, oh, I'm 10 kilos away. My thought was, God, I'm only 10 kilos away from it. It's nuts. So that being said, I'm going to add some photographs to the montage this week. Because I want you to see two photographs extra ones one is of me when i started tony ferguson and i found it very interesting looking at that compared to how i'm carrying the weight now back then it seems to be like pfft, all there's there was no curve to any of it it was like the weight was just everywhere it was just like a i was like a big fat tube <laughs> But I'm also going to include a somewhat shocking photograph of when I was around about 1.30ish when I finished Tony Ferguson or when I basically headed for the hills. Now, fair warning, I'm making myself look at this now because I need to start getting used to that visual of what I looked like when I got down there because we need to get mentally prepared for that and that's how I do it I put it right in front of my face and I make sure that I expose myself to that imagery so that I can just get used to it like now my fair warning to you is that even though you've seen my progress over the last 21 weeks you guys have not seen me at 130 ish kilos it's going to be a shock for you folks. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. When I looked at this photograph, when I was editing and putting it into my pictures so that I could bring it in as a part of the montage, I'm like, wow. And as soon as I was thinking, wow, I was like, well, we're going to get there again. It was like instantly. The mind changed. It didn't overwhelm me with, oh my God, I've got so so long, I've got a long way to go. I went, oh my God, this journey. Oh. And we can fall into that trap real easy. But no, I, I looked at that photograph and went, 
wow. Well, we're going to get there again. And it was as quick as that. I'm going to put that in the plus column. <laughs> but yeah, be prepared. It's... You won't have seen me like that yet. So brace yourself. It's a bit of a shocker. So without much further ado, let's get into the montage. So there you go. <laughs> I'm looking at my spreadsheet on my phone here. I lost 1.4 kilos, which is about three pounds. A total loss of 34.3 kilos or 75.6 pounds. I lost three centimeters off the bust. A whopping six centimeters. Yes. You heard me, six centimetres off my waist and a centimetre off my hips. That waist measurement, let me have a look. Nope, I have not had a big loss in measurements on the waist from when I started. I had a sizable loss on the hips last week. But even that came down a centimetre. But then you look at the photographs. So you can, you can look at these figures. I'm looking at my spreadsheet, right? You can look at these figures and go, wow. But then you see the photographs. This is, this is key. Honestly, those photographs are... I can't, if you're on a journey that's like mine where you've got a lot to lose, taking those photographs is going to be crucial to your mental adaptation to what you're looking at. I cannot stress that enough. But, you know, by the same token, some people don't need to do that, and that's fine. But if you're a bit iffy mentally about how you perceive yourself and how you think others see you, <laughs> hello, <laughs> yeah, count me in on that one. If you have a problem with how you perceive yourself and how you look at yourself, trust me, those photographs are going to be crucial to that part, that part of the journey. So please try and start taking them. You don't have to take them every week. I do. I take them every week because I'm so darn nosy. <laughs> I take the weight every week. I take the measurements every week. I take the photographs every week. Yes, I do it for you, but I do it for me because I'm so darn nosy. Can't keep my nose out. <laughs> so, you know, you may be fine with taking a photograph once a month. Do it. Just do it. If you need some mental preparation for how you're going to look when you get to the end of your journey and continue, the best way to track it is going to be the, those photographs are going to be the going to be the deal breaker in everything for you from a mental point of view. Do it. I think that is all for this week. It's It's been an interesting one. 
I've been a little bit insular as well. I've I've sort of distanced myself from certain aspects of the carnival community that I needed to for the sake of my own sanity and the sake of my own self-preservation. I just, I can't, you know, hop from one toxic community to another. I can't keep on bouncing around from one crisis to another. I have to stop. Just get off the ride. <laughs> just stop. So I've, I've basically, you know, I'm concentrating on me, concentrating on the sort of content that you expect from me and would like from me. I want to give you guys that attention that you deserve in my videos. I hope I'm doing that. You know, I love each and every one of you. And like I said, you know, your comments, I don't answer every single one. But when I give it a little heart, I've read it. I want you to know that I've read it. Okay. But yeah, sometimes I get so many comments. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oy. So please know that I have read every single comment that you have written. Life's a funny thing, isn't it? It's funny because sometimes life can throw you a curveball. But then there's the curveballs that you throw yourself <laughs> at yourself and what you do with it. I'd like to think I'm doing a good job. And like my husband said, it's not like you're giving your body much of a choice. Well, yeah, no, I'm not because I'm the boss of me. <laughs> I'm the captain of my own ship. I'm the boss of my body. I'm responsible for what I put in my gob. Buck stops with me and I'm in, con I'm in control of what I'm doing for myself. And in the grand scheme of things, you know, you, you, there are so many things that you can't control. They're out of your control and that can drive us crazy. So I don't know, try and control the things you can. Just saying. On that note, I'm going to ask you all to be kind to those around you, protect your peace, don't, I repeat, don't take any crap and be kind to yourself. I do love you guys. Until Thursday. Mwah.